Islam goes beyond being just a religion for Muslims in northern Nigeria. It is also the culture and has been for centuries. It is impossible to negate the, the manipulation of religious identity as a crucial factor in Boko Haram's mobilization of members. By understanding how Boko Haram manipulates religious and cultural history, memory, and local narratives, we will be better able to understand which cracks need to be fixed and how to create the right counter narratives to replace those being exploited by Boko Haram. There's also a family model which we have to consider with families with a lot of children. A lot of children. This is something that is very uh, strong in the far north. Uh, and parents who don't have means to send their, their children to school, some of uh, the children will be sent to Quranic school and will have exclusively a Quranic education. This has an impact on the insertion of these people in the formal, uh, modern, I would say, possibilities, for example, to get a job. In those school, many of the children are Muslim, and they don't have the experience of uh, working, studying with other, uh, other children who are from other religions. This made them unfavorable to tolerance of religious diversity. Due to the, some cultural habits, the children are brought up in the idea that their religion is the best and the other people, Christian in particular, are doomed to perdition. Since they have no relation with Christian children, many Mahajir generally don't have an inclusive understanding of religious diversity. In addition to that, politicians have also been accused of recruiting and supporting political thugs for their own use, particularly during political rallies and elections. Uh, youth, mostly from underprivileged homes, um, who have very little education, no sources of income, and very little prospects of a productive future, um, have often been kept on the payroll of this, these, these politicians and um, being used um, for their own interests. It is understandable that uh, the promise which are made to them, promise of buy, promise of money, can attract many unemployed youth. In this context, it is easy for Boko Haram to justify its anti-state and anti-ruler speeches. The argument is that if Sharia was applied, their situation would be different and that, and they could hope for greater professional options.